Good morning from Bogota, Colombia, you guys. <laughs> this is a city that when we told people we were coming to Colombia, most people advised us to skip. And that's because it has a little bit of a poor reputation with safety and maybe less things to do than some of the other cities. In fact, it's mostly considered to be a city that you fly into on your way to the other major attractions yeah. like Cartagena or Medellin. But we were still very intrigued by this city. Yes. So we wanted to take you guys with us as we explore it and form our own opinion on the capital city of Colombia. <laughs> So every Sunday in Bogota, they put on a flea market in this neighborhood called Usaquen, mm -hmm. which is known as like a nicer neighborhood or more affluent. It's so nice. Yeah. I want to get a jacket because I underestimate how cold it's going to be here. Yeah, Bogota, because of the altitude, is way colder than anywhere else in Colombia we've been. So we only have summer clothes. Mm -hmm. And the best I could do is layer with a shirt under my I button up. I just have a t-shirt, everybody's in jackets, and I feel underdressed. <laughs> <laughs> Teriyaki, okay. Oh wow, it's really good. ¿Cuánto cuestan esos? Los del centro, 27. Y los de los lados, 29. Esto es hecho a mano. Hecho a mano. Wow. Papagayos. Wow. La mochila guayú. Con las puertas de mi hermano. Gracias. Gracias. Ok. Gracias. Gracias. Okay. Gosh, we're already about to finish this big bag of, these are like fava beans, she said. They're so good. With teriyaki seasoning. There's 250 grams in here and mm -hmm. we're at the bottom of the bag. <laughs> They're so good. We got so much stuff. I know, Look. we got so many cute things. I got this scarf, which is so adorable. I got this nice bag. She got a lot. I did get a lot. <laughs> and I got a poncho for today. The poncho is so nice. We're sharing it mm -hmm. for the rest of the day <laughs> because it is chilly. It is cold. And then I got something for my papa. It's like a little fridge magnet that says Columbia right there. It's so cute the and it was market, handmade. Yeah, the flea market was amazing. There was so many like cute things. Yeah, and everything was handmade mm -hmm. and all of the artists there were so passionate about what they were selling. Also guys, another thing we've been loving about Bogota is how affordable everything mm -hmm. is. For example, this Airbnb that we've been staying in is so nice and it comes with a pool, mm -hmm. a gym, 24-7 security, an incredible view which I'm going to show you right now yes. and it all comes out to like under $40 a night. Which is crazy. Yeah, it's insane and this is in a nice area, like a really nice area. Yeah. We'll be sure to link it below because we highly recommend this spot if you're coming to Bogota but check out this view. Oh, 
So while we were out at the market today, I found myself struggling with some of the Spanish I've been learning. So before we head back out, I'm going to practice a little bit using the sponsor of today's video, Lingoda. Lingoda is an online language learning school that offers 24 seven online classes taught by professional teachers. As travelers, this has been huge for us because no matter where we are in the world, we can always find a class on Lingoda that matches our time zone to continue our language learning journey. I also love the fact that Lingoda offers so many great resources to help me keep practicing and improving outside of classes. My personal favorite has been the worksheets and the flashcards to go over all of the things that we've learned in class. It's so nice. Right now, Lingoda is actually offering a back to school promotion, which is 25% off two months of Lingoda. And if you aren't ready to fully commit yet, they are also offering a seven day free trial where you can take up to three group lessons, which have five students max per lesson or one private lesson. We highly, highly recommend you at least try the free trial because you will not understand how amazing Lingoda is until you try. We tried that first group lesson of Lingoda and we were hooked right yes. away. We have not turned back since and we continue to use it to this day. Mm -hmm. And we know if you try the free trial, you will be very, very impressed. So be sure to check out Lingoda for yourself using the seven day free trial. Click the link in the description to find out more and get a 25% off discount on your first two months of Lingoda if you decide to continue from there. And with all that being said, thanks again to Lingoda for being the sponsor of today's video. And now in about an hour or so, mm -hmm. we have a walking tour booked of a very, very popular neighborhood in Bogota that you guys have told us we cannot miss mm -hmm. called La Candeleria. Yes, and while we wait, I'm going to practice my Spanish a little bit and then we will see you guys there. Yes. <laughs> Okay, we are done with the walking tour and we just happened to see this restaurant which is called La Puerta Falsa. It's apparently one of the oldest restaurants in the entire, in the entire world. world. It was founded in 1816 and apparently they are famous for their tamales. We got two traditional things. We have the tamale, which is the world famous one. It looks insane. Oh my god. So big. It's so big. And then we have the ajiaco. Ajiaco is a traditional soup, Colombian soup, specifically in Bogota since it gets colder here. And we haven't tried it yet, so it's gonna be good. Okay, I want this one. That's really good. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> that might be the best tamale I've ever had, for real. You ready? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It like warms your soul up. That was so freaking delicious. So good. Oh my goodness. I loved it. But anyways, if you guys watched our first vlog in Colombia, in Medellin, you know that we were first exposed to the famous Colombian artist, Fernando Botero. 
Ben and we fell in love with his yes, work. Yes, he's the best. And we heard that there is a completely free Fernando Botero Museum, which is actually really big here in Bogota. And it's right across the street from this restaurant we were just at. So we have to go check that out. So it is nearly sunset here in Bogota and we wanted to try and catch it at the top of Montserrat, yes. which is one of the top recommended things to do here in the city. It's this lookout point which is over 10,000 feet above sea level. Yes, we're, we were already 8,000, like 800 above yeah. sea level. Now we're another 1,200. Yeah. My breathing is... <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's hard. My ears started <laughs> popping on the ride up here. But are you good? <laughs> You can choose to hike the whole way up, which is like a two to three hour yeah, situation. Yeah, I think it's like two to four hours, depending on, two you know. Two to four, well. Depending okay. on your athletic level. <laughs> yeah. So we opted in for the Cable car. funicular, I think it's called. Oh yeah, yeah funicular. That's what we just took. Mm -hmm. And the reason you can hear like prayer and stuff over the speakers yeah. as we're walking is because there's literally a church at the top. I don't know if you can mm -hmm. see it. Oh, right so up there. Beautiful. So beautiful out here. they're doing service but I can't believe they managed to build one up here. I know. It's incredible. Everything's been so beautiful. It's so pretty here. But we've been holding out for the big moment mm -hmm. which is this view <laughs> which we're approaching right now and it's insane. It's I did not know how big Bogota <laughs> is know, as a city. Look at this. All right, right here we have agua de panela, I'm which so is cold. <laughs> and supposed it's warm. to warm you up. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. First time Cheers. trying it. Ah, don't spill. Mm. It's like caramel. Wow, it's hot. Ooh. It's like apple and caramel in a drink. Yeah, it's like a hot apple cider or mm -hmm. something. Mmm. Wow, it's really good. 
It's delicious. I love it. <laughs> wow. So what would you say to people who are debating whether to come to Bogota or skip it? After our time here. I would say 100% come to Bogota. Yeah. It's a beautiful city. Absolutely. With so much amazing things to do. Yeah, we only scratched the surface. Yeah, I feel like we barely did as much as there is to do here. So. Yeah, and this was just one day. Yeah. Yes, there's obviously some areas that are probably more dangerous than the areas we've been to because we're doing a lot of touristic stuff. But all in all, this was just, this is amazing. We love Bogota. We would definitely come here again. Mm -hmm. We would spend longer here for sure. It's more than just a gateway to the other parts of Colombia. But now we are gonna sit here and enjoy this view as the sun starts to set. Drink our agua de panela. Yes. <laughs> and then tonight we have reservations at a spot that's definitely been the most highly recommended by all of you guys. Mm -hmm. It's called Andres Carne del Res. So many of you said that's like the one thing you must do when you're here in Bogota. So we're gonna go get some dinner there. Yes. We're supposed to have like performances. I'm and very excited. Yeah, it's like a big deal here. So yeah. should be a fun way to end this night.